What was the surprise? My surprise this morning that I'm down seven pounds since last Wednesday. So not even a week ago. That's crazy. So it, the way you said it just now was, and thank you for watching that. What pay attention to what's going on here. So Stacy is is part of the jumpstart that we just launched. If you missed it, put jumpstart in the comment, and I'm going to send you a link for the next time that we launch it. This is being recorded live in January. We've got two launches in January for the jumpstart. But watch this. So you woke up this morning. You said I was expecting a change, but tell me more about that. Yeah, so I expected a change because I started doing a reset after New Year's because I, you know, decided to do some things. <laughs> and so I, was, I expected some change from yesterday to today because I'm drinking my concoctions and, you know, watching my timing and that sort of stuff. Um, but I didn't expect seven pounds like that. And then you started when? Wednesday of last Wednesday. week. Wednesday. And this recording is what day? Monday. So we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days, you drop seven pounds. So if you're watching, you're like, holy shit, what would's like, it is she's just cut water weight. Did you dehydrate yourself to drop seven pounds? No. Hey, look at her forehead. Her forehead said it all. No. Hold your concoction up there. There's not a lot left, but. So, okay. So if you watch other videos, you see that. So what goes on in the jumpstart, what we design is there's solid food and there's some foods that we blend up and we chop up and it turns into liquid, hence what she's doing there. And there's a specific timing sequence to fuel your muscle tissue. And importantly is pushing out toxins. So what I want you to visualize if you're watching this and again, thinking, holy shit. So let me rewind the clock. We had Halloween. We had Thanksgiving and in, in Canada, you're in Canada. What what's other celebrations do you have there? Christmas. You don't have Thanksgiving. Okay. Christmas New <laughs> Year. And there's a bit of eating more of the desserts, the sweets, a lot of food and alcohol. Is that part of it too? Yeah, like I was holding steady until New Year's. It was like a singular occasion. And then New Year's just kind of like, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what ends up happening to us is we eat a higher amount of foods and a lot of people are like, man, I really up my calories. But if you look at the number in the weight wise, it's not only the calories. Sure, I'm up in my calories, but it's the specific foods that create inflammation. The inflammation, when it increases, triggers the body to produce more fat. So if we can identify what those foods are, stop them from poisoning our body. So the visualization I want you to have is if we put poison ivy in you know, a our, on our arm, it swells up. If we get stung by a wasp, it swells up because the body recognizes it as a toxin. Inflammation happens in the spot. If we're doing it with foods and our, our gut lining starts to split up, something called leaky gut happens, then that goes into the bloodstream. And then you see total body inflammation. That's where the hand, oh man, my joints, they start to hurt. So that total body inflammation, hands hurt, face hurt. We start seeing circles in the eyes. Our, our, our body starts to itch. We obviously, we, we get that the, the poofy belly as well, the, the poofy arms. So that's total body inflammation. So what we did with Stacy and the other participants of the Jumpstart is there's a food sequence. Let me fuel the muscle tissue. Let me push the toxins out. And then there's a food sequence that heals the gut lining. And again, walk us through from Wednesday to now. Wednesday to now, like in terms of what I've been ingesting. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be specifics, but just like how you were felt before, mm -hmm. like on Tuesday to now. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday, pre Wednesday, it was like my hands started to hurt again. I wasn't sleeping well. Um, and I'd say, like, if I had to say I was off the program, it was maybe like five days that was like. I and think that sucks because, you know, with you, Stacey, and then you watching, it's like, I really didn't do that bad. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Poison is poison is poison. Your body sees it as poisonous and you're going to sleep like shit and you're going to feel like shit. Yeah. My hands were hurting. I wasn't sleeping well. I was super cranky. Um, I kind of wanted to stab somebody if I didn't eat carbs. <laughs> I, I even wrote that down. Yeah. The coaching. What did I, what did I put? Uh, I'm going to find it. Keep going. Okay. Yeah, and I just kind of like, 
I was like, this is silly. I've, I've come too far to like, let this slide again. So. Why do I want to stab somebody in the face? That was the quote. <laughs> yeah, cause I can feel, I can feel my blood sugar like start to swing and like, like pre, when did I start this journey? Like late August. So I could feel myself getting into old habits and even not even just physically, but even my thought patterns started to shift also. Like I, yeah, it was, it was kind of nuts. I was like, what it like, where is this coming from? Cause I don't, I don't think like that anymore. And then I was like, Oh, I know what this is about. So it's so interesting. Like it's an invitation. It's, it's like those old friends inviting you, Hey, let's just hang out this one time. And those thought patterns, the old thought patterns kick in and it yeah. doesn't take much. And then it changes the behavior. It's as we talk about in, in our morning sessions, it changes the trajectory. Yeah. And that changes, you know, where you end up in life. Holy cow. That's, that's a huge epiphany there. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was like doing, like I was accomplishing less. It was, it was weird. I was like, what is happening right now? And I was like, oh, I know what's happening right now. <laughs> um, and then since Wednesday, I mean, it took a couple of days, but I want to say like by Thursday night, Friday night, I was sleeping solid again. Um, and my hands don't hurt anymore. Um, and I mean, every day there's been incremental drops in, in weight, but this morning was like, which is awesome. Yeah, that's cool. So with you watching what one thing that, that I can promise you is that you're going to know and understand why your body reacts the way that it does to certain foods and behaviors. And you can see with Stacy that it doesn't take long. Like I have a private jet we can get to your destination really quick. So I know the foods and the timing sequence to get your body to shift fast to where you feel awesome. Now, the next thing is, well, what are the habits and what's the behavior for me to stay here? So that's the difference in the, you'll hear somebody say, I dropped 10 pounds and I put 10 pounds back on. Well, if I go play around in the mud, I'm gonna get dirty again. So then it's time to take a shower and clean up and close <laughs> again. So it's the, I can get you to the destination quick. And then there's a long-term afterwards. So that's beyond a private jet of shifting those habits, the way of thinking, the identity that we have, like you were saying, well, that's not who I am anymore. That's, that's, I think it's awesome that you stated that and you, you acknowledge that Stacey. Uh, so be aware of that when you do the jumpstart, it's just that it's a jumpstart to the next phase of your life. And then we have continuing whether with, um, we're working with the coaches or on the membership side. And if you've noticed that you've slid back and forth, that's part of it. It's like who's, who you are in your identity. And when you play with dirt again, you're going to get dirty. So you got to cleanse back out. Cool. That's awesome, Stacey. So we'll cut this off. And in wrapping up, what would you tell Stacey from pre working together and, and going through this journey? where she's frustrated her hands are hurting she's sleeping poorly what 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 words of encouragement would you have for her um it's not that hard yeah right like, so well you know this and i'm not some people know this part of the journey that like you know i was a takeout junkie like uber eats was like quick quick fire and it really has been a lifestyle shift and part of the the um, part of the barrier for me doing it on my own was that it would be, it would be hard. Like, I don't have time to cook. I don't have time to do this. It was like, it was from a place of scarcity where I couldn't do it because of X, Y, and Z, um, variables in my life. But once you, I committed and was like, okay, something's got to change. Cause I hate the way I feel. So it's not that hard. That's good. Here's the end of the road. Walk on the yellow brick road and you're good. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for watching.